I have my own business. Now, if you go into the food retail, into a fish and chip shop, I'd have to pay $34 an hour to employ someone. Yet McDonald's down the road, they can only pay $26 an hour. Oh, this is all the EBAs. Mm. This, is what the, this is what the unions have negotiated. So they're talking about looking after the battlers. It's a big furphy. And what needs to be debated here, small business, Barry, they're struggling. But, and but if you can, if you can actually... Um, help them out with rising electricity costs, rent prices, and I know of a chemist shop in Rockhampton, seventy thousand dollars a month in rent. Yeah, so so you you support the cut, you support the cut in the penalty rates. I think, in principle, yes, I do. You do so because how, how do because you... Barry, we have to all right, and the, and the Labor are, are saying seven hundred thousand. It's not. Other figures I've heard is two hundred eighty thousand. But even so, there'd be it's... a lot of your people who vote for you who would be impacted by this. Because I'm hoping to give small businesses a chance for growth. If they actually looked at these wages, how can you actually expect someone to pay $34 an hour in wages in a takeaway shop, food retail, and yet McDonald's are paying $26? Where's the unions mm. jumping up and down about that with the battlers? Yeah, and, and the uh, whole well, fact is, if you do not start doing this, Barry, small businesses are not opening. They are shutting. A lot of actually going under. I had a small business. How many other politicians in, this, in our parliament have run their own small business? And I've been a small business person most of my life. So let's have the debate. Let's put it out in the open. We're in you know, a business of commerce. I've actually spoken to them. They said, we need you know, tax cuts. We need red and green tape gone. We need other areas that need to be addressed. This government has doing nothing about it, addressing this whole issue. And Labor are a bunch of hypocrites. And I think that if we looked at it, we might be able to increase employment by helping small business. Yeah, all right. But, we'll, but the low-income earners, of course, will, ha will have to take a cut. You also say... So Barry, they're getting the wage. They are getting the wage. They're getting a they're wage, getting but from a reduced one, wage. From 175 per cent down to 150, yep. and then from, you know, from 150, a quarter of a percent. Barry, those employers, I know myself, if you can cut back a little bit there, give them a helping hand, more likely these small businesses will open on a weekend, yeah. possibly give yep. more hours, and, you take the and same employ view more with, people. With welfare.